So today we're gonna see how to create a curtain wall. Basically, a curtain wall is a type of wall. So I'm gonna select wall. I come over here and I have these three type of curtain walls. Okay. So I'm gonna create three of them. Only one with regular curtain wall. I wanna do two with exterior glazing. And the third one. I want to create a storefront. Okay, so I'm going to go for the 3D. The exterior glazing or the curtain wall one is just glass, and I will have to to come over here to configure to do the setup of the grid. The grid is the lines, the divisions that they have vertical and horizontal. The glass panel or exterior glazing is just with the divisions done. And the storefront is a already set it up with mulliums. We have three elements over here. We have the grid, that are the, these lines that we can have vertical or horizontal, that are the divisions for the panel. We have the mulliums that are all those frames that we have for the for the wall and then we have the panels that they can be glass or any other type of wall but basically we can create one type of wall that is a sandwich panel okay i already created one so you can see it you know how to create curtain walls so i'm going to show you I deactivate the pin that is a lock so I can change it. Okay. I already created one sandwich panel. Sandwich panel, or no, maybe was in a different file. So I can create it from scratch. And it's going to be really fast. I go to a generic wall. I'm gonna go edit, duplicate, sandwich panel, accept, go to edit, and I'm gonna have three layers only. I'm gonna go up. The first one is gonna be a finishing material that is gonna be aluminum. I'm gonna do 132 of an inch for the aluminum. I'm gonna go for aluminum. I'm gonna look down here and choose this anodized blue type of painting. I select the aluminum, say apply, accept, have aluminum. Then for the structure, I'm gonna have rigid insulation. Go for three inches, and for the last layer, the finishing material in the interior, I'm gonna go for one eighth of an inch of a wood material that I'm gonna say that is bamboo, for example. I add it up, apply, okay. I see how it looks. I said, okay, apply. And that sandwich panel is added to my mold, to my curtain wall. I can also add any type of elements that I want. I can go insert, load. I'm gonna search for curtain wall doors. And I can add sandwich panels that they already have cabinets or things. I can add different type of doors, even a revolving one. Okay, and I can add a window. 
I'm gonna load all those items and basically I'm gonna select one sandwich panel I one panel deactivate the pin and I'm gonna select whatever I want to I can select the window I can come over here with the tab select the mullium unlock it press delete so I'm gonna create a door and I don't want to have anything to step so I'm gonna unblock it come over here and I'm gonna look for one of the doors that I just loaded so I click one of my doors here we have the door and the window okay I'm gonna go to the sandwich I to the, to the regular one and I have two ways of editing the panel I can go directly press over there okay and I can just create it press over here and with the curtain walls I can create my lines okay I have here on the side I have offset the first one I can say for example every three feet with an angle of 45 degrees apply and on the other direction I can have every five feet with an angle with a zero angle so I have as you can see I have this also I can go and edit the type I'm gonna duplicate this is a type of wall that has its special properties so I'm gonna duplicate and say cosec courting wall okay and I'm gonna go and say the function it's an exterior is foundation what type of wall it is so it's going to be exterior then it can be embedded that will be to get embedded on holes on the walls courting wall type of panel if you want to add a panel to the to the courting wall by default so you can do glaze system or you can just go directly for one uh, the wall that I just created that it was sandwich panel you can select one or you can say just none define join join condition over here you're gonna say which vert which grid is the dominant okay if the vertical lines are gonna be continue and the volumes on the horizontal is gonna is gonna stop or if it's gonna be continuous the horizontal at the mulliums of the vertical will stop and then if the border is continue or not okay you choose one of them i'm gonna i like that the border is continuous and then depending if i have if, if i want a sensation that go that it looks higher i will go horizontal if i want something that it's containing the 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 view I will go vertical so in this case I'm gonna go vertical then we have vertical and horizontal grid the vertical grid is the lines that they go vertical so I can I can select a fixed distance that is always on that distance a fixed number that is gonna be it doesn't matter how big I do my courting wall it's gonna fit the same type the same number of volumes I don't like that one maximum spacing and minimum spacing I usually do either fixed distance maximum and minimum the fixed number I never do it fixed distance for example you want a volume every five inches I every five feet or every three feet the problem that it has when it arrives to the corner it will cut down one of the volumes maximum distance you are gonna tell them five feet and what it's gonna do is gonna divide the whole hole the whole wall into five feet and then round it 
So if it's maximum, it says I'm going to do it for something in order to make it as big as possible, but without overgoing five feet. If it's the minimum five feet, it's going to be five something. So I'm going to divide it into five and do it a bit bigger if necessary in order to do it with that number of spaces. So I'm going to do fixed distance and I'm going to say five feet and the horizontal grid. I'm going to go minimum spacing three feet. So it's going to be at least three feet. Adjust volume size, yes or no. And then the volume size you have interior and exterior border. That is the, the outside layer and interior type. In order to see the difference, I'm going to select circular for the vertical interior. And I'm going to select rectangular one inch for the vertical volumes. I'm not going to do any horizontal volume yet so you can see apply uh, okay the angle uh, okay the angle that we have over here is due to the grid that we did grid layout we come over here present that if i say that is every zero, zero it will just vertical okay the verticals are continuous in the corner we have that square in the interior we have the roundish i'm gonna go edit type again i have to select it sorry edit type and over here i'm gonna do now horizontal so you see the horizontal now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do the rectangular in, inside and the roundish outside, up and down, border one, border two. So apply. Okay. As you can see, the vertical mullions are the one continues. The horizontal, they just stop in the vertical. Okay. And we have the roundish outside and the rectangles inside so we can divide them by doing it like that you create your own curtain wall we can also come over here select one curtain wall and with the tab we can select the grid lines the same that we could select our panels we can select the grid we select the grid we press on the pin and we are able to modify that one so even though we have one grid as you can see that is done by default we can manually modify it i'm going to go to the court the previous curtain wall select the grid unlock the pin and i'm going to modify one of them okay i can even come over here Tab, select one of the mulliums, unlock it, and delete it. So I can even create and delete elements, okay, including the lines, not only the mulium, but also the grids. I can select my grid, add or remove segments. I can come over here. And I can add or remove segments. So I delete that segment and now I created a double panel. Okay, or I can click it again to break it down. But in this moment, what I want is to unlock it. So I'm gonna escape twice and now I have this bigger panel in order to do my wall. I to place my door. So I'm gonna select the lower part of the mullium. Unlock it, delete it. I'm gonna come select that big panel, come over the properties, and I'm gonna select the door. And that big panel for the door.
I think that that's all for today. Although we can do a lot more things and we can play around. Yes, go ahead. And if you have doubts, ask me.